Hey friends, welcome to our home. A lot of you have been asking me how we live in 300 square feet with two adults, three kids, and two furry dogs. This is the 2022 Grand Design Transcend 321BH. So let's go in and have a look around. Welcome to the foyer. It's about three feet wide and it consists of two storage spaces. So the first one we have all of our shoes. We have a mop, broom, vacuum, and hand vacuum all put in here. And then over here, so we have three hooks for our three children. And right now we have rain jackets on here and sweatshirts, um, which work really well for us. And then later on, as the season changes and it gets cooler, we'll probably put our heavier coats out. Down below, we have our kick shoe space where the kids come in and they kick their shoes off. And most of us, I think we can all fit our shoes underneath there. Nathan's boots take up a lot of the space. Um, but this works out really nice for our family. And then up here we have storage for our keys. We like to keep our campground brochures up here just if we have to reference anything. And then this space behind the TV is actually awesome. It's about three, maybe three to four feet in, in depth. And on the outside we keep our dog food because this is something that we access every single day. But behind this we actually have two bins. Once we step out of the foyer we enter the living space. Um, and this is our living room. This is where we spend the majority of our time if it's not nice outside. So we have our sofa, which fits two adults um, comfortably, three kids comfortably, and then one adult and three kids semi-comfortably. Um, thing I love about the sofa is that it opens up into a bed. Um, I don't know if they advertise it as a full or a twin. I would say it's probably like a twin half. Um, I don't know if two adults could be comfortable on it. Um, but what we're using this space for is actually all of our winter storage. So we have three bins underneath with all of our fall and winter clothes, which we will swap out hopefully in the next couple months. Um, or not. Or not. <laughs> if we'll be in North Carolina, then we might be hanging on to our summer gear a little bit longer. So over here we have our book station. Um, we are not going for Pinterest worthy. We are going for functional. So we have our Berkey on top of our homeschool books, our library books, kids games, and of course, Brielle's books. Um, can you tell that we love books in this family? Um, so let's go over to the dining area. <laughs> I went really far. <laughs> this is where we eat um, the majority of our meals. We, we really like to eat outside if we can. Um, but on days where it's rainy or it's just not good weather, um, we can fit four people really comfortably in our dinette. And then we picked up this lifty little stool here from Walmart um, to put that fifth person on, which is usually one of the kids. They kind of fight over it. Um, these uh, seats are really great. They have storage underneath. So if we open this up, we have all of our art supplies underneath here. So this is like a mini office. Um, underneath this one and then underneath this one we have more kids toys um, and by toys I mean arts and crafts that's all my kids want to do so we have all of our art kits underneath here um, but you certainly could use this space for extra clothes storage extra food storage um, it is as deep all the way into the wall and as wide as you can kind of see each booth um, now the really nice thing about this side of the house is that it's on a slide so from here all the way over, so kind of where our art is hanging up over there, is a slide that will come out. Uh, when we are traveling, we slide it in, and that'll come all the way up to about here. So it just gives a, an extra three to four feet of space. Um, it also gives us this great play area for the kids. This is where they are most of the time when they're in here. Toys are dumped here. Um, it's nice and cozy. So let's go over to the other side of the RV. <laughs> <laughs> the, so the TV pantry. room, the TV. the TV room, the TV area. Um, so we don't watch too much TV, but when we do, this is what we watch it on, which is probably why we don't watch too much TV. Um, it is nice. This does come out on a swivel, so the kids can watch it from the bunk room if they wanted to. Um, but this is a nice, really deep cubby where we keep books, we keep our adult board games, um, we keep some Nintendo controllers. Um, and then this is our pantry. Um, I was really kind of concerned about this space when we were looking at this RV to purchase, but it, we're actually doing great with it. 
Um, I probably could fit a lot more if I didn't do my <laughs> labeled boxes and bins. Um, this is just kind of how I organized my house when we were in a sticks and bricks home. Um, but it's working for us. You just kind of have to know what you have and what you need. Um, and Nathan installed a nice little light in here. So you can kind of see, it looks kind of cluttery, but it works for us. We can keep all of our food in here. Follow me to the kitchen. Here we are in the kitchen. <laughs> this is it. So um, one thing that I love about the kitchen is it has a nice big sink. Um, we're a family of five, so there's tons of dishes after every stinking meal. Um, and no dishwasher, which is one of the things that I miss about our big house. But this works. Um, so we usually put a bin in here with full of hot soapy water, which also helps save water that way. Um, underneath here is really nice storage. It looks kind of like a mess. Um, it's organized mess, I promise. But this is where we keep all of the cleaners, all of our laundry things, all of our dishwashing things, extra garbage bags. Um, this organizer has been a lifesaver. You can see I have all the plastic bags and the parchment paper and the saran wrap in there. I can put the link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing one. Um, it also is great because it holds your towels on the other side. So our cooktop consists of a three burner stove. It is propane um, and also an oven. Um, so all of the videos that I've watched on YouTube about RV ovens have said that they are awful. And we have tried to make muffins and it was an absolute disaster. So I would agree. Uh, I don't use the oven. I actually use my Instapot for most of my cooking. And I also use my lovely husband who has Blackstone outside and I make him cook majority of the, the meal on Blackstone, which is great for me. Um, we have a microwave that I'm actually just using for storage, Rice crispy Treats and a roll of paper towels. Um, we don't use the microwave too often. Um, really nice storage space underneath where we have all of our pots and pans. Again, I'm just trying to have a minimalistic view of the things that I was packing in our RV. So we have two uh, cast iron pans and then two stainless steel pots. And that's what we've been using. That's what we've really been needing. Okay, that brings us to the fridge. I don't even want to show you the inside of the fridge. The fridge is not that big, but again, it's functional. It, we can keep about a week's, week's worth of groceries in here, which was kind of hard for me because I am the person who buys groceries for like month to month basis rather than week to week. So we've been spending a lot more time and money at the grocery store. Um, we are still working on that. And then the freezer up here, Small. I do wish there was another shelf up here that would have been great. Um, storage over here. I actually really like this storage. It's really deep. Um, I'm able to fit our all of our plates, our bowls, our cups, um, all of the Pyrex storage ware, and then a little Lazy Susan thing that I have all my spices on. Uh, I'm still doing my best to cook from scratch here. They say you can homestead wherever, so I am giving homesteading in an RV a try. We'll see how it goes. And then over here, if you don't know Nathan and I, we are addicted to coffee. So this cabinet, it's really embarrassing, but it's devoted to coffee and tea. I think the secret to keeping everything you need in an RV is just organization. So then we have one other storage space in this kitchen, which you might not recognize unless you have looked at this floor plan or had this RV in the past is the secret component here. We put our chapel sign over it. Um, in there we have alcoholic drinks, we have medicine, we have vitamins, um, all those things that we just don't want the kids getting their little hands on, um, and also things that they don't even know, need to know exists. So, put that on top there, and it's like it never exists. Okay, next we have the bathroom. One of the reasons why Nathan and I really liked this model was because the bathroom was between the master and the living area. It just gave the master a little bit more privacy, and we didn't feel like we're that close to our kids. So we're on opposite sides of the RV. We have these nice big pocket doors. Ta-da! Which allow privacy. Um, but I try to keep them open because I feel like it allows a lot more light and it makes the place feel a little bit more roomy. So come on in the bathroom here. Okay, so we have our sink medicine cabinet under sink storage. 
Um, and then some open shelves, which I've just kind of crammed stuff in. Um, I like to use the containers because I feel like when we move, it's just going to be a massive earthquake in here and I don't want to be picking up a whole bunch of clutter at the end. Uh, this is our shower. We currently are not using our shower because our campground has a really nice showering facility. So we've just been using it for storage. Um, we've turned it into a dog station. Our old dog Sophie is disgusting when she drinks water and it, the water just kind of comes down her lips and just goes all over the place. So putting her water bowl in the shower basin kind of solved that problem for us. So this is our linen closet. It was actually one of the more confusing places to kind of figure out what we were doing with because it's only about four or five inches wide. However, it is as deep as the entire shower. So welcome to the master bedroom. Come on in. All right, not a lot of space, but a really bright space. I love this place. So we have a queen size bed. Um, we both have our own his and hers closets. And then we have really nice overhead storage, which I found these great containers at, I think it was Family Dollar. Um, the closet space is not very big, guys. Um, I have about 30 hangers in here, maybe, kind of all squished together. Um, and then I have the clothes kind of positioned back up against the wall. Um, there's enough space for pants and shorts on top. Nathan installed these really nice uh, wire shelves, um, which gave us a little bit more space. Um, we utilize a lot of cube boxes, so I have sweatshirts and sweatpants in the back. I have kind of office supplies in the front. Um, you probably can't see it. There's like binders and stuff for homeschool and documents on the right, and then purses. So it's it's got everything that I need in just a tiny little bit of space. Um, and then everyone also gets a drawer on either side um, that comes out really really deep more intimate things. So we had to get creative with some of our storage. So we have extra shoe storage, which I've attached to the side of the bed. One of the things that we love about this model was it gave under storage, under bed storage, which looks kind of like a mess, but we have more homeschool books. We have winter blankets, our jumbo Sam's Club pack of diapers, hiking backpacks, suitcases, things that we would need. Um, that are just too big to fit anywhere else. So that's that. All right, so let's talk about one of my favorite places in this RV. And the reason why we actually chose this specific model was because it had a bunk house. Um, we really wanted a door to separate the kids' living space from the main living space. So come on in. Now the 321BH sleeps four children in the four bunks. So we have Natalie, we have Amelia, and we even have our two-year-old Brielle in this little bunk here. Um, Nathan was able to make railings for our kids so they wouldn't fall out. Um, Natalie being 10, didn't think that she needed railings, so she doesn't have any. Um, but the bunks are actually pretty spacious. Um, we have privacy curtains for each of the girls just so they can feel like they have their own space. Um, we have so many stuffed animals in here. Um, and we, had, we added some twinkle lights just to make it feel a little bit more fun and homey. Um, down here we have our spare bunk because we only have three children. Um, so we've just used this as an extra play area, a quiet reading area, and then we're actually able to fit um, one of these plastic storage bins in here um, just for extra storage for toys and books for the girls. Um, so storage was a little tricky in the bunkhouse. Um, we gave each girl two drawers and again, folding and organization was key to getting everything they needed in these drawers. Um, and then Brielle, so really nice. Brielle was given these two little tiny drawers here. Worked out perfectly, um, her being two. Her clothes are a lot smaller um, and we're able to just kind of fold in here. Um, the bunkhouse does have a closet. It's not very large, not very deep. But each girl can fit about five or six dresses um, and we have some sweatshirts hanging. We have our box of shoes that we might not use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we have our hats. We use command strips like they're going out of style here. Um, they're really handy. And then and down here 
At Brielle level, we have things that she plays with. These bins were awesome. I found these on Amazon. Um, I'll post below a link if you're interested. They fit perfectly in this space. We pretty much have all the basics, everything that we loved in our old house, in our new house. Um, we also have this nice storage caddy over here in the corner that was really handy for diapers and wipes and tissues, things that we grab on a day-to-day -day basis as well. So let me know, do you think your kids could live in this little space? So this is the children's bathroom. Um, it's very small, but it is perfect for a kid. Our 10, 8, and 2-year-olds have no complaints about this bathroom. The bathroom was definitely a selling feature for us because five people, one bathroom just kind of seemed a little miserable. That's a wrap, guys. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, add a comment or question. Let me know what you think about our 300 square feet of living space. Five people, two dogs. Are we crazy? We are. We're, We're crazy. crazy! Bye! Friends, welcome to our home. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> welcome to our home. We're crazy. We live in 300 square feet with five people and two dogs. <laughs> this is the... Sorry. This is the 2022.